Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Battle Breakers videos, the sixth and last of my Assassin Poison themed weekend videos. In this video, I'm going to be looking into Selene the Reaper. She is crazy amazing, but not as crazy amazing as you guys using my supporter creator code Loka Hansen in the Epic Games Store and in the Battle Breakers game. You guys are amazing. Remember that a portion of sales goes to me when you use my supporter creator code or link. Selene the Reaper was actually one of the first super rare heroes I picked from the Skybreaker and was hyped about. She is now one of the new tier assassins after the 1.81.1 update of Battle Breakers, meaning that she deals poison damage with her basic attack, but she is unlike the other like assassins I've been looking into. She is a high damage single target, non-poison focused hero and I mean the damage potential on her is unbelievable. Her lifesteal team perk isn't anything that we have been using so far in the game, I haven't, but she is completely crazy. Her ability deals a high amount of damage and it scales with the amount of opponents on the board, so 200% additional damage for every hero, minion, opponent on the board, so right now just an initial slash of half a million damage. This may not seem much compared to if we take the death mole and we have a double strike, but the potential is crazy when she eviscerates, a million damage is not something that is rare, we can see multiple millions of damage by using Selene the Reaper when we have a board full of opponents. Her like passive skill allow her to ignore reflex defense, meaning that if you have an opponent that counters or dodges attacks, she won't care about that. Her crazy big punch will land and it will deal damage, but it can be intercepted. So that is the one thing she is vulnerable to or the one thing that can actually counter her attack, so to say, is that an intercepting hero can grab it instead of the target that you had in mind. She needs to use her basic attack in order to apply poison to the opponent, but unlike the first heroes I looked into, the Death Moles, the Viper, she is not here for dealing damage to drip health up her opponents. She's here for that 1.8 million damage in a single attack. And she is the first hero I used with the Wanderer Jai Jing combo, where you deal 20% of her attack damage to everything else on the board. It means that if you deal millions of damage, you will be dealing hundreds of thousands to everything on the board. So this was a viable combo even before we had Baldrian Shield Splitter that could deal millions due to a bit of an exploit with towers. So anyway guys, that was pretty much what I had to share wrapping up the weekend of Poison and Assassins. I hope I covered all the heroes you guys found interesting in this new category and that I was able to shed a little bit of light on how the game, the Assassins, the Poison is working after version 1.81.1 of Battle Breakers. I'm hyped about the change, but a little scared about how it's gonna be when I'm the one facing assassins. For now guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.